Cool. So basically, um, our industry is made up of basic life support medics, intermediate life support medics, and advanced life support medics. Uh, basic life support medics did a six week course um, and they were able to work on an ambulance as long as they had the PDP. That course has subsequently now been cancelled. You can no longer do a six week basic life support course. Uh, intermediate life support medic would have gone through the basic training, so six weeks. Then they would have got a thousand hours and then went and did the intermediate life support course, which is four months long. Thereafter, if that intermediate medic wanted to become an advanced life support medic, mm -hmm. they would do a thousand hours again and then um, apply to become an advanced life support paramedic. And the advanced life support course would have been nine months. And then they would be allowed to work in the response car like this. So the basic and intermediate medics work on an ambulance and advanced life support works on the response car. Then after that came the uh, education side of things where universities started training paramedics and uh, they would do a, a three-year national diploma course. When you did the three-year national diploma, you'd qualify with the national diploma and you would be advanced life support immediately without having to go the BAA and AA intermediate route. So currently what has changed in the industry is that you can no longer do a BAA. Uh, AA is finishing next year and you can no longer do the advanced life support short course. So you can only go through university and the university has increased the, the time frame from three years to four years. And that's still a diploma? Now it's a degree. It's a degree. Now it's a degree. So the degree program is four years long and you qualify and you can work on the response car. They are busy with uh, an entry level course which is going to be one year. It's going to be called ECA. Mm -hmm. And there is a intermediate course that still allows you to do quite a lot of skills. That is called a Diploma in Emergency Medical Care which is a two-year course and used to be called ECT but now they're registering them as paramedics and they are a two-year course and they have a diploma. Okay. So those are the different categories. So which one do you think is more, more, more viable or suitable um, in this industry? Which course basically? out of all the ones that you've just mentioned? So, they all have their pros and cons. The pros of the, the university side is that you are doing long-term training, so you're getting an educated view on being a paramedic. Uh, the, the pros on the short course side is that you get very hands-on. So, a lot more practical stuff because you do your short course, you do a thousand hours, you do another short course, you do a thousand hours. And along the way, you are learning uh, practically how to manage a patient. They do have practical skills for the university type paramedic but the, there's not as many hours being on the road as a, as a short course paramedic. So because of that they've closed down, the, because of a uh, few reasons they've closed the register for um, the basic course and one of the reasons was because the the um, short courses were being almost uh, provided at a sub substandard level by a lot of uh, colleges. Mm. They were just putting people into a classroom and just charging them a whole lot of money and then churning out basic medics. And then you'd find that people who were not in the industry would all of a sudden end up with a qualification that didn't really mean much because they, they qualified but they didn't have the skills that would allow them to, to practice safely. So that's why they stopped those courses. So there is, a, there is a strong argument for this education route being going through a university style education because of that. Because now it's all underwritten and, and managed uh, almost by the University of Johannesburg and, and pretty much 
um, regulated now. Okay. Yeah. So it, it, this won't see like um, like a shortfall in stuff because now stuff has to go through a four year course. This won't see um, a, like a shortfall. There's big fears about shortfall. Um, it's been mentioned a few times. I think they've mentioned it on carte blanche and, they, and there have been a few articles being uh, published even through uh, Caxton as well yeah. about shortfall. Um, the thing is there's currently being medics qualifying every year already. So which means the guys that started four years ago are finishing now. The guys that started three years ago will finish next year. But why the people are saying that's going to be a shortfall is because the amount that's qualifying every year is not as not nearly as close as the amount that was qualifying through the short courses. Mm. But the guys that were qualifying through the short courses, there's still plenty, plenty, plenty of them that don't even have jobs. They're unemployed. They qualified as basic medics. They cannot find work. And it's because they came out with substandard uh, education mm. that they cannot find work. Okay. Yeah. Or maybe just lastly, so where are we heading to now? Now we're heading to a garage called Pinehaven Cecil. Uh, we're going to go and meet the ambulance so that we can uh, get their view and opinions. As you said, you wanted to see what they have to say about being in the industry. Okay. And they're going to meet us at the garage. All right.